Hey there, this is Pete Buckwald, uh, continuing our discussion on resources for songwriters. I wanted to show you some of the uh, ways to create some music using virtual instruments and a couple other things. Uh, one of those other things being jamstudio.com. Uh, jamstudio.com is similar to the software called Band in a Box. Uh, you'll need to sign up for a free account. Let me enter my password. And once you sign up for a free account, you can try it out free for 10 minutes with limited uh, access to some of the resources. But uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to set your, ta set your song tempo. Uh, you'd have to define your song chords up here. Uh, once you kind of get your song all in place, you can save it if you have a paid membership. Uh, the paid membership is only $4 a month. I uh, do not belong to this, but I've, I've been impressed with the resources here. Uh, if you know the chord progression, you would enter it. So you select this, the box up here above measure one, and maybe we would want, uh, it looks like, wow, you can select the key of the song and uh, do some quick, these are the, the most common chords found in that key. That's really handy. I just noticed that. Uh, you can even do preview interesting so let's start on the the C chord go to G maybe a minor F it's a pretty common chord progression then maybe we'll go D minor C F G something like that all right so <clears throat> after that we can start to choose our style this is kind of the default style um, if this little speaker is illuminated this sound will play once I hit this little triangle. It takes a second to load up. So even if you can't play acoustic guitar, you could get a general feel for what your song would sound like. Um, we can change the strumming pattern, so I'll do try to do that on the fly here. add some other instruments. <clears throat> so like I said, I think this is a great resource if you don't play an instrument or maybe you play piano and, and you don't play acoustic guitar. If you just want a general idea of how something might sound, this might be a great resource for you. <clears throat> and at four dollars a month, I, I think it's it's great. Even just the free version of ten minutes might be a helpful resource for you. Uh, some of the other resources I mentioned in the first video, I wanted to show you examples of that. Uh, Easy Drummer it costs about eighty dollars, and you can buy expansion packs for I don't know forty or fifty dollars, something like that. I I like the Nashville kit in particular. It has a nice brushes uh, sort of uh, expansion within that Nashville kit. Um, um, you can mess with the, the balance of the individual microphones and change that to your liking, but the, the default flat mixer would, works just, just fine. Um, then <coughs> there's also uh, patterns that are pre-recorded that you can just drag and drop in for your song. Uh, let's take a listen to uh, Pop Rock Straight. Uh, we're in, at 120 beats a minute, 120 beats a minute, so this might work. Something in here might work. This little triangle to audition it. I guess I have to select a pattern over here, maybe eighths on a. I want a closed hi hat. Where'd that go? There we go. Oh, nice. Do I have something muted? Yeah, I have this track muted. Okay. So if I like that, all I have to do is drag this little area right here onto the track in Logic Pro. And uh, this type of virtual instrument works within a lot of different hosts. Logic Pro, Pro Tools, most of the, the major recording software, this would work in there. Uh, there's al also fills. Let's see what this one sounds like. So 
if that's one I liked, I could, again, drag and drop it where I want it. There's all kinds of different patterns you can you can pull in. So that's Easy Drummer. I'm going to mute that track and uh, pull up <coughs> Addictive Drums. This is the free version of Addictive Drums. They also have a free piano that sounds great. It's only four octaves, but it, I, I love the sound of that piano. I'm so glad I... Uh, getting ready for this presentation, I downloaded the free version of Addictive Drums. It looks like this, and got the free piano while I was there. So here's what some of these drums sound like. Let's go to a straight beat, maybe this 001, so it might be a basic sort of a beat. Let's go closed uh, eighths. And hit this little triangle to audition it. So if I like that, it's, it's just like Easy Drummer. Again, I, I drag this and drop it in here, then it can be a part of my song. Um, and if I want, I'm sure there's other fills and other things I can get in there. Uh, so let's close that up. Again, at the bottom there's a mixer if you want something louder or quieter, or more <coughs> room sounds, or it's more reverby or less room sound. You, you can adjust those to your taste. It's free. Can't believe it. That, that these drum sounds are free. Um, if you have a MIDI controller hooked up with USB, then I have a piano-looking piano-type uh, MIDI controller here. If I if I want, I can program my own by hitting the the keys on this little piano. So I, I can program a custom beat for my song if I want. Um, the next plugin is my most expensive plugin, but it's also the first one I always go to. This is super helpful for writing pop music and, and it works in a lot of different settings. Uh, this is Omnisphere. Before Omnisphere, the, uh, there was another version of it called Atmosphere and there were a lot of atmospheric synths, ambient sounds, spacey, s sustained sounds, strings, synth pads, stuff like that. And it's been expanded to have a lot of different types of sound. Um, I think I have to have something. Yeah. Yeah, so this is more of an arpeggio or a pulsing t synth type sound called Herd of Ducks. I'll just hold down an A minor chord. So it's a very interesting sound right out of the chute. It could be very useful in a production. Uh, I think this patch, this is on a different channel. Let's see what it says. So just a general string sound. Uh, it sounds like this. A little low. Let's see. Really nice string sounds, all kinds of great sounds in here. Vocal samples of choirs of all kinds, boys choirs, gospel choirs, all kinds of jazz uh, vocals, just so many sounds. Uh, so you can see why it's one of my favorite virtual instruments. Just a lot of creative um, opportunities there to start a song or to continue it. Looks like I have another patch here of Omnisphere. Oh, this is the jazz chords. Uh, is there another one? Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, all right, on the other end of the spectrum, as far as price range, there's a free version of this synth called Alchemy, or Alchemy, however you say that word. Um, the company is Camel Audio. And let's, let's play a couple of <coughs> the free uh, uh, patches included with the demo. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, take a listen to this one under sound effects number one. I know if I just push one button, take a listen to this. Nice. So <clears throat> check those out. Uh, if you go to YouTube and look for my name, Pete Buckwald, and free 
put in keywords like free synths or free plugins, uh, virtual instruments, I mean, um, you should get some more information on, on those uh, or on that synth and another one. You know, that, that's the gist of what I wanted to show you. I just wanted you to see some of the virtual instruments I tend to work with, let you hear what they sound like and see what they look like. I hope this is helpful and um, love to hear your comments on what virtual instruments and other resources you're aware of. All right, take care, guys. We'll see you.